Hello and welcome back to our North Carolina Tar Heels Dynasty in NCAA Football 2004. I know it's been a while since the last video, guys, but a quick recap. We came back from down two touchdowns, I believe, to Syracuse and came away with a come-from-behind victory. Today we're going to be taking on the Wisconsin Badgers. As you can see here, top 25, Miami lost 6-5 to five to Eastern Carolina. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. That, that's terrible. That's just awful. Uh, Davis, they have uh, two Kansas State running backs on here, Daniel Davis and, of course, Darren Sproles. we got Maurice Claret, Cody Pickett, and Chris Gamble. That is the top five for the Heisman Memorial Trophy. Chris Gamble, of course, has a couple receptions as well. He plays both sides of the football and some special teams. So he, he does it all. Man, he's going to be a great player going forward. And we might even look to get him in our Falcons franchise because the secondary is pretty bad. But Darren Sproles, over 470 total yards of offense, six touchdowns. Uh, Cody Pickett, great year so far, six touchdowns. Take a look at the players of the week. And, of course, Darren Sproles right there against UMass. Conference standings, Georgia on the cover. Let's take a look at the conference standings. We are in seventh place so far in the ACC here in year one. And I know this series has been really inconsistent lately, but I have been having some health issues pretty much all year. And it's just, it's really catching up to me, guys. So just bear with me. And I'm going to try to get these videos out as often as I possibly can. But here we are, Wisconsin. This is going to be a rainy game. Number 21 Badgers, they're 3-0 on the season. We are, of course, 1-1. One and one. We lost to Florida State in our first matchup of the season. And, of course, last game, we beat the Syracuse Orangemen. And here are the Badgers, ready to take the field. There you see Lee Evans. Wide receiver, he's going to be a big name to keep an eye on here today. And Jim Sorge is in at quarterback, the longtime backup for Peyton Manning in real life. And here we go, Tar Heels taking the field to an array of boos from the crowd. And Davis, 298 yards rushing this season so far, two touchdowns. And that is just in two games, so almost 300 yards in two games. Very impressive running back, so look out for him today as well. Badgers on offense first. Jim Sorge to throw it. And he's going to throw left side. That pass is caught by Lee Evans. Past the 40 crowd, he rubs, and there's a fumble out of bounds. But a huge play for the Badgers, and Sorge is going to come out slinging it again here on third down and nine. Wide open is Pacchiotti, and he spins. He's got the first down. Let me know if I'm pronouncing that name right. My goodness. Second down in nine, counter play. Davis, left side, spins a man out and gets taken down around the 12 yard line. Nice run for him. That is a first down. Sorgi on the option. Sorgi spins forward and he's gonna fumble the football backwards to Smith. It is recovered by the Badgers. Sorgi to throw it again. Pressure and he is gonna be sacked this time. Way back at the 13 yard line. So North Carolina gets a huge play right there to make it third down and 11. Sorgi to the end zone, and he finds Lee Evans in double coverage, and he comes away with it. So the Tar Heels now on offense. Darian Durant is sacked back at the 15-yard line. Hawthorne on the sack. They're down to 13. Durant will try to throw it again, rolling out left side. And he's going to throw it up, and it's caught by Pollock off the deflection. And it might have actually been dropped by the other receiver. That was a great play, great awareness from Pollock, the freshman wide receiver. Durant could pass left side. Bowman, he's going to fumble the football. Wisconsin's got it. Watkins in the open field. And Willie Parker saves the touchdown. Probably the best play of the season for Willie Parker so far this year. Wisconsin on a roll right now. 7-0. And they've got the momentum. Sorgi breaks the sack. But the second attempt is there. And they get it. They're down at 14. Already two sacks for this Tar Heel defense. Sorgi right side deflected away. Almost picked off. And Wisconsin is going to have to settle for um, a punt, I believe. No, they are going <laughs> to they're gonna send on the field goal unit right now. This is a 56-yard attempt. My goodness. You see they still have the defense on right now. And this kick is up. And that was close, but not close enough. So another good stop here for the Tar Heels defense this season. 
And they get pretty good field position. Third down and four. Durant to throw it. Going out right side. Throws it up. He's got Mason at midfield close to the markers. Do they give it to him? Yes, they do. Durant to throw it again. Left side this time. Caught by Pollock. And he's got the first down. The out routes have been working all season long for this Tar Heel offense. Durant to throw it again. Rolling around right side. Pulls up. Throws it wide open. Is Mason inside the 10-yard line. One of the best receivers in the country, folks. Yeah, I said it, and he's a freshman. Third down and goal from the seven. Durant, right side. Willie Parker's got it. He accelerates, and he finds the end zone. Touchdown, Tar Heels. Willie Parker finding the end zone. Fantastic play. It's all tied up at seven apiece. Lafferty kicks the ball off, and this is not a good kick because the wind is insane here today. And here's the running back, Davis. He breaks a couple tackles, and Davis is off to the races, and he is gone. Kick return for a touchdown for the Wisconsin Badgers. Oh, my goodness. They had him bottled up. There were so many Tar Heel defenders around him, they just couldn't bring him down. What a run through all that traffic by the running back. Oh, now the Tar Heels down 14-7. to Durant trying to get his team back into the ball game and he's going to take off and dive he's going to pick up about seven or eight yards there third down at two and madison hedgecock picks that up easily such an easy run for the big fullback second down and six darian durant going out right side and he's going to pull up and throw it blizzard is wide open the big tight end has the first down at the wisconsin badger 40 yard line 130 passing yards here today for Durant, seven touchdowns, one pick on the year, 839 yards. He has been lighting up the skies, and he's pressured here again. Durant throws it, and that is dropped. So great play by the quarterback, but his receiver couldn't make a play on the ball. Fourth and 14, they're going to go for a field goal here. 61-yard attempt, and it's not even close. But there's 20-plus mile-an-hour wins, so why not? Still 14-7. Sorgi pitches it out, and Justice makes a fantastic play on the right side. Great play by the middle linebacker. Second down and 13. Davis again is stopped by Justice. Oh, my goodness. There's a flag on the play as well. Let's see what it is. And that is a clipping call on the offense. And that is going to be declined. Nope. Will it be accepted? Yes, it will be accepted. Second down and 27. Sorgi to throw it. Left side. Open is Williams. Oh my goodness. Third or second and 27. Now it's third and two. And Davis is going to pick that up. Oh my goodness. That coach, Harold Beecher, has to be sick <laughs> on the sidelines. They had him backed up and let him get the first down anyway. Sorgi to throw again. Left side. This is picked off. Waddell has it. And he's past the 40. Waddell into Badger territory, out of bounds around the 44-yard line. Huge break for the Tar Heels. A fantastic takeaway for the senior cornerback. Not sure if the receiver ever turned his head around to see that pass, and he did not. And <laughs> he threw it right to Wad Waddell. Now the Tar Heels in great field position. Durant to throw it, left side, Willie Parker drops it, and Darian Durant has injured his chest on the play, and that hopefully is not a serious injury. Um, we're going to see Stevens in at quarterback now, and he's going to complete his first pass out to around the 39-yard line. Fourth down and five, they're going for it, and Bowman drops the pass. That was a perfect throw from Stevens. Receiver just couldn't hang on to it. Still 14-7. Here is Davis. This time Justice can't get him, and Davis will get into Tar Heel territory around the 46-yard line for the first down. Down to 10. Davis is stopped again by Justice, and Justice has injured his chest on the play. So that's two top players uh, injuring their chest here today in the second quarter. Sorgi to throw again. Left side, and that is Lee Evans on the sideline. A little toe tap. And a first down. And they're going to hand it off to Bernstein here. That's the fullback going left side. Bernstein in the open field inside the five. Down to the two-yard line. Oh, my goodness. What a run for the fullback. That'll make it first and goal. 
and they'll give it off to him again, and he'll finish off the drive with a touchdown. He earned it. And now North Carolina down by two touchdowns here in a very hostile environment in Wisconsin. Two minutes remaining. Stevens is still in at quarterback. And he's going to throw it out right side. Mason has it. He's in the open field. Out of bounds at the 43-yard line. Nice run after the catch for the freshman receiver. They're down at six. Stevens again out route to the right. And this time it's Russell with the first down reception. They're going to go no huddle here. Stevens is four of eight. 38 yards here today in his season debut. Stevens over the middle. And that is another drop pass. So Stevens is on the mark. Uh, they do get the ball back here, and Mason gets six yards on that reception. Third down and four. Stevens over the middle, and Russell with another drop pass. Oh, my goodness. The receivers, they apparently have a grudge against Stevens, and they don't want to catch the ball. And that is another drop pass. You have got to be kidding me. Third down and ten here for the Badgers. Sorgi left side finds Pacchiotti. And he's short of the first down. And now Michael Waddell has injured his chest. Three star players here today, all injuring their chests. They're down to nine for the Tar Heels. Stevens, left side, finds Bowman. Does he have the first down? No, he does not. Fourth and one. They're going to go for it. Bruce Ribs for Michael Waddell. Stevens picks up the first down on a QB sneak. They're going to go no huddle here. 13 ticks left on the clock. And they do spike the ball with 11 seconds left. Now second down and 10. Stevens to throw. Deep shot. Left side. And it's caught by Pollock inside the 20-yard line, setting up the Tar Heel special teams for the field goal attempt. Now they are going with the wind now, I believe, again. 20-mile-an-hour winds. And here is the kick from Orner. And he's not even close. This kicker is not good, folks. Oh, my. 21-7 remains the score as we head into the half. Badgers on top. Tar Heels get the ball to start things off. Nice pump fake, but Stevens is going to be sacked anyway. Huge loss. Only five yards rushing for the Tar Heels. Their ground game has been terrible all season long. And here's a deep shot right side. And it's caught. Mason has it inside the 35-yard line. Nice 30-plus yard pass from Stevens to Mason. Just a one-on-one -on -one jump ball situation. And Mason has about five or six inches on that cornerback. First down and ten. Stevens to throw again. And throws left side wide open. And it's a drop pass again. Oh, my. Wow. Stevens again to throw left side. And Bowman has it this time. Didn't forget his hands on that play. 272 yards through the air here today for the Tar Heels. And Stevens, deep shot towards the end zone. And it's caught. Russell has it for the score. And just like that, the Tar Heels close the gap a little bit more. It's going to be 21-14. And a nice jump ball there. The quarterback never turned around to look for the football. Second down and four here for the Badgers. Davis breaks a tackle. He's got the first down. Such a powerful running back. First down and 10. Davis in the backfield again. Sorgi, option pass. Deep shot left side. It's caught. And Lee Evans is gone. Oh, my goodness. Quarterback went for the deflection. Misjudged where the ball was at. And easy touchdown from Jim Sorgi to Lee Evans. That is the backup cornerback in there. Filling in for Michael Waddell. Stevens down 14 again. What's he going to do here? He's going to roll out right side. Russell's wide open. Does he have the catch? Yes, he does. What a route. What a catch. Third down and 10, though. I formation. Stevens to throw. He shot over the middle. Wide open is Pollock, and he dropped it and caught it after that. Oh, my goodness. Mason and Pollock over 100 yards receiving today. Uh, four catches today for Pollock. Stevens to throw again. Right side. Wide open is Mason. And he gets out of bounds. About a six-yard reception. Second down. They're going to hand it off. Lewis, the backup halfback, fights for the first down. He's only touched the ball two or three times this season. And they're all first down so far. Hedgecock with a nice stiff arm and a first down. There's a flag on the play. And Hedgecock is still on the ground. That is a face mask penalty 
on the Badgers. That was on Timbers. Hedgecock still down. He just injured his elbow on the play, so some good news. It's not a chest injury for Madison Hedgecock. But hopefully he's okay and can return to this game. He's a huge part of the offense. Great blocker. And here's Stevens over the middle and finds Mitchell around the two-yard line. And I think he's short of the first down. And he is third down and inches. 11 plays, 67-yard drive so far. Over two minutes off the clock. And Stevens is going to go QB sneak right up the middle, untouched for the touchdown. North Carolina closes the gap again. It is now a seven-point ball game, 28-21. Sorgi pressure, finds Orr, and he runs Justice over and gets the first down. Oh, my goodness. One of the only, I think it was only two or three completions on the right side of the field today for Sorgi. He's been destroying the left side, and there he goes again. Williams wide open, and Reed can't get there. That's another deep pass for a touchdown for the Wisconsin Badgers. And again, it is now a two-touchdown ball game. Oh, my goodness. Dexter Reed. Oh, he hit his legs, but just couldn't take him down. They're down an eight now for the Tar Heels. Nice pump fake over right side. That's Mason. And he reaches towards the first down. And he did get it. First down and ten. Stevens going to throw again. Pressure. And he's going to be dropped for a two-yard loss on the sack. And that was the cornerback coming through. Second down and 12. Stevens going around. Throws it right side. Wide open is Bowman in the open field. Up past midfield and out of bounds to avoid any kind of turnover. Bowman with his sixth catch today. Third down and nine. Stevens. All day to throw. Goes left side. Wide open is Bowman, but he's going to be dragged down about five yards shy of the first down. So not a very good play. Uh, but the Wisconsin Badgers up 35-21 as we enter the fourth quarter. Get your fours up. Tar Heels, uh, no stranger to fourth quarter comebacks. They did it last week. Well, basically last month is when the video came out. But you know what I'm saying. They did it against the Orangemen. So anything's possible here. Fourth down and six. Stevens, right side, wide open is Mason. He's got the first down. And the out routes continue to be the savior. Stevens again going to throw it left side. Bowman's got another one. And maybe a five or six yard pickup. Stevens with three consecutive completions. Second down and four. Stevens going to roll out. And wide open is Russell over the middle. He's got the first down inside the red zone now. Down to the 17. Bar heels threatening. Second down and four. Off his back foot. And that's caught for the touchdown. But there's a flag on the play. And that can only be one thing, folks. That is a holding penalty. That'll back the Tar Heels up to second down and 14. Instead of getting a touchdown, Beecher is livid on the sideline. Third down and 14 now. Stevens is hit. He fumbles the football, and that's recovered by James. Oh, my goodness. That was reminiscent of the Hail Mary attempt at the end of the Florida State game where Durant was hit and the fumble just bounced back about 30 yards. Sorgi, deep shot left side. This game is over. That is Lee Evans all the way inside the 15-yard line. 167 yards receiving today on five catches. He's such a beast. And this Wisconsin offense is just, it's, it's too much for the Tar Heels defense. They don't have enough talent. They don't have enough speed on the defensive side of the football. And here is Bernstein getting a first down here up to the two yard line. Badgers just running this clock out. And they hand it off to Bernstein again. He is dropped. Maybe a one yard pickup. They're gonna send on the field goal unit. Kick is up and it is good. So it is now, that was a 10 play 69 yard drive. Took three minutes off the clock. Just a slow, methodical drive. And Wisconsin's going to walk out of here with a win. It's 38-21. There's not a whole lot of time left. But Stevens and the Tar Heel offense are still fighting as Stevens goes over 300 passing yards today. Stevens to throw it again. Right side wide open is Mason. He's got the first down and out of bounds. Tenth reception of the ball game for that young man. Stevens. Left side, and that's Bowman. Another out route, and this time he accelerates. Picks up eight or nine yards. That's his ninth catch. 
They're down at two. Stevens rolling out and throws it. It's caught by Mason. That was a risky pass. Stevens probably could have just took off with it. Minute 40 left. Stevens the throw left side and it's Bowman again. And I think that's his 10th reception. 25 completions today for Stevens in his season debut. And he's looking to throw again. This time he's picked off by Aiello. And he's going to return this one up to the 45-yard line. That was on fourth and four. Aiello, his second pick of the season. Lee Evans, player of the game for Wisconsin. And Stevens for North Carolina. 350 yards, two total touchdowns here today. Not a bad debut for him. Definitely not the best circumstances for him to come in and get playing time with the injury to Darian Durant. Hopefully that's not serious, uh, but we'll see here soon enough. Wisconsin gets the win, 38-21. They will stay in the top 25. North Carolina drops to 1-2 and two on the season after their win over the Syracuse Orangemen last week. Great performance today from Jim Sorgi, the quarterback for Wisconsin. Bernstein, fullback, had some nice carries, had a touchdown. 494 yards of offense for North Carolina, but just they have 18 rushing yards. That needs to be addressed. They need to get some offensive linemen in the offseason and possibly a better running back. Willie Parker has done nothing for this team. He has one touchdown catch, and that was it. I think he has a tackle on an interception, too. <laughs> so he, doesn't, he hasn't done a whole lot for this team so far. But that is it for this game. 38-21. A lot of passing yards here today. Nice little quarterback duel from Stevens and Sorgi. But Darian Durant, and there's the verdict. He is out for four games, or four weeks, excuse me. 11 of 18 he was today, one touchdown. Uh, he's clearly a better passer for completion percentage. 6% is quite a big difference. Willie Parker, only 13 yards rushing on seven carries today. He is just not the answer for this offense. Jack Lewis, one run, five yards, and a first down for him. Stevens had a fumble. Look at these receivers, man. These guys are awesome. They are definitely looking really good for the future. As you see, the top two receivers are freshmen, Mason and Bowman. And Pollock, I believe I called him a freshman earlier. He is a junior. My apologies. He went over 100 yards receiving today. Touchdown for Russell and Parker. A bunch of drops. Look at these drops. Five, six. Oh my goodness. Ten. Thirteen drops today, folks. Man. I tried to show you guys as many as I could in this video, but <laughs> there was so many. I didn't realize there was 13 drops. That's crazy. It was a rain game, so I mean, I don't know if I should really hold it against the receivers that much. We're a passing team. It was a downpour all game long. But, I mean, 13, that is, that's nuts. I don't even think Larry Fitzgerald has 13 drops in his whole NFL career. Man. Orner, 0 for 2 field goals. He continues to be absolute dumpster juice. No punts today. Just kept going for it on fourth down. What do we have to lose? So, Wisconsin, they advance. They are 4-0 uh, on the season. Man, they also had a kick turn for a touchdown. I forgot about that. Our next game, we will be traveling to take on the ninth-ranked NC State Wolfpack. They're 3-1 on the season. They have Phillip Rivers. That's going to be a good one. I'll see you guys with that one soon. Until then, take it easy, guys.